Beneath these waters lies a resource that's vital to food security for millions of people, that sustains a multinational industry, pumps billions of dollars into the global economy, and is critical to the balance of the marine environment. So much at risk, so much to protect, so much at stake. Ten years ago, there were really, I would say, two mainstream movements that were happening. Number one, there had been a unprecedented level of inaction at the tuna fisheries management organizations. On the other hand, there became a very, very active movement in the NGO communities targeting retailers about tuna on claims that really were not factual or scientific. So there was this need to help tunas be managed better, and at the same time, to get the science back in the conversation and make sure that the solutions that, we were, that were being put into place would actually do what needed to be done. The benefit and importance of ISSF is that it works collaboratively across science, across industry, across conservation groups, and brings that strong foundation to the intergovernmental groups that manage fisheries. The, the fact that all of us around the table could agree to work together in a positive direction, that was something new. Thanks to the work of ISSF over the last 10 years, many tuna stocks are being managed uh, more transparently, more effectively, more efficiently. Since 2009, ISSF has reached over 2,000 fishers via workshops that identify and share bycatch reducing practices, mobilized many millions of dollars in investment in scientific research across the world's tuna fisheries, embarked on more than 20 research cruises and other at sea studies that have revealed techniques for cutting bycatch rates significantly boosted transparency by listing more than 75% of the world's large per seine vessels on a proactive vessel register, enlisted monitoring, control and surveillance measures in the fight against illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, focused science, not emotion, on fish aggregating devices and bycatch. ISSF has not shied away from presenting very hard facts to industry, which the industry may not otherwise have wanted to hear. Today, SSF is by far the most credible and uh, reputed uh, NGOs in, in the tuna business. We've done more for tuna conservation in the last decade than all the rest, uh, all the rest combined uh, because of this great partnership between progressive tuna companies that see the need for sustainability for them to persist into the future. ESSF is uh, crucial for our planet and working with the SSF is an amazing opportunity for the planet, for our children, for the next generations. What we want to leave behind is uh, uh, the enthusiasm, the, the desire to, um, uh, to preserve sustainability and to preserve biodiversity, especially in the, in the high seas. It's our responsibility as, as scientists to pass the baton to the new generation. We need to propose better solutions to the new challenges that they will have uh, been facing in the future. The biggest challenge is, is sticking to it long enough that you can confirm scientifically that what you've done is the right, the right thing and ISSF is up to it and its track record is its biggest asset. After a decade of discovery, the thing that I, I'm most excited about is many, many more people and many, many more markets are getting engaged in this progress. It needed to be done at a global level and I think that that has been successful, but the pace of success is gonna to continue to accelerate over the next five to 10 years, where globally um, better things are gonna happen, better management's gonna happen, and more proof that things are happening is gonna become the norm.